Hey, welcome back to, I don't even know what part this will be because I don't know how many videos I'm putting out. There's only one more to go after this one, which is going to be the good old taste test, which is always the best part. So this one is, we are kegging this bad boy. We're not bottling it. We're going to keg it. Um, this is, we're kegging the Muntins uh, Hazy, not Hazy. I want to call it Hazy. They do have a Hazy. It's Lazy Days um, Tropical IPA. So we are kegging this bad boy. Um, I'm priming it with, I'm, I'm using priming sugar, um, which is just dextrose corn sugar instead of the CO2. A um, couple reasons for that. Uh, number one, I'm doing dry January. I know. Give me the resin. Dry January's on. We just hit it. So I figure, all right, three weeks out. That's going to be close to February. I'll be able to wait, wait one more week to get the uh, taste test in. So doing dry January. I'm going to be kegging it for three weeks. So when you when you keg or bottle with priming sugar, uh, you should give it about three weeks. Uh, there's a rule of thumb that says uh, 70 degrees Fahrenheit, three weeks. Okay. So I'm going to be keeping it at room temperature. So it's be somewhere around there, but three weeks will be plenty. Um, <clears throat> I will be using, um, I can just make beer easy. There's, there's priming calculators online. Feel free if you want to get all technical and go ahead and do that. I don't do that. I keep it real simple. Um, for a bottle, if I was bottling 19 liters, I would do anywhere from three quarters to a cup of priming sugar. Uh, kegging it, you want to cut it about in half. Um, so this would be, I think it's about a third to a half a cup of priming sugar um, would be good for 19 liters. This is 17 liters. Uh, I'll probably go closer to a third. If you go over a half, you're going to end up with excessive foaming. So we don't want that. So I'll probably do a third and that'll be more, more than adequate. Um, so what have I done so far? My keg, heavy man, because it's full of star sand. Um, keg's ready to roll, baby. Ah, so it's full of star sand. I had it soaked last night. Um, fermenter's still in my um, freezer slash makeshift kegerator i got the ink bird on it keeping the temperature at four degrees fahrenheit ish um so i'm going to get that out of there going to get prepped ready to go going to get the transfer line on there um and that's about it should be straightforward um i will boil um the water so that the water's sterile uh, as it cools down i'll mix the uh the priming sugar in to it that's what i got so uh i'll be right back oh yeah all right, gang, let's get a little light on the subject. Um, third of a cup. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually, um, I'm going to boil the solution. So um, what I'll do is I'll, uh, just a quick boil. I'm going to just fill up my pot, dump the solution in just so that the water kind of covers it a little bit, dissolve it up, and then I'll take it up to a boil, let it boil for a couple minutes, just sanitize everything, and then we'll, we'll dump her in. Yeah. All right, gang, we're getting set up. Keg's ready to go, uh, star sand's out of it. Um, I seal it up before I put the beer in and I purge it with CO2 to get the oxygen out. Um, I don't go crazy with this. I'll do it, uh, I'll put it on the gas, crank the gas up, get some CO2 in there, and then I'll purge it. Um, this is, uh, this doesn't have the pressure release valve in it, so you've got to kind of rig up a, a separate uh, gas. Um, deal here so that you can uh, get the gas out of there. Um, that's all you'll hear it here. I mean, that's wish. All we're doing there is trying to get any oxygen in before I go ahead and uh, fill it with the beer. The less oxygen, the better. So I'll do that probably two or three times and then I'll come back and we'll fill this bad boy with some beer. Yeah. Oh, here's a, here's a look. I can't take the FG on it yet because it's not, not warm enough, so i got to let it warm up up to uh, quite a few degrees before uh, I'll go ahead and take the gravity reading um, so we can get a proper reading. Um, haven't had a taste. Did tell you it's uh, dry January, but uh, I suppose this doesn't really count. Let's have a little sip. You know what, guys? That's going to come across as a, an all-grain beer. I guarantee it. I'll give that to people, they won't even know it's kit. I'm, I'm quite impressed, smells incredible. It's gonna, nobody's gonna know that's a kit beer. Anyway, this is gonna be fun. Um, so that's cool, I'm really impressed with how it's tasting so far. So we'll be back. All right, gang, beer is pouring in. Can you guys see the, yeah, you can barely see the keg, yeah. So beer's pouring in, I just poked the hole through the, um, the little, uh, cling wrap that I had on there. Uh, beer is going into the keg. You want to, uh, a tip that I, I learned early on in my brew days is I used to just pour the beer in there. You don't want to do that. You want to get a nice, 
uh, line set up, um, liquid line. You want it to go all the way down. You want as little bit of splashing as possible. So I've got the um, sugar mixture all, all dissolved up. It's cooled down. As that's pouring in, I'm gonna put it in so I won't have to do any stirring because the action of the beer coming into the keg is gonna be all the stirring that I need. And again, you don't have to worry about, you know, people are gonna say, oh, how much water do you use? It doesn't really matter, just cover the sugar when you're uh, boiling it. Might have been half a cup or a cup or something like that. So that's it guys, um, I'll come back. What I'm gonna do is where it's a keg, I do have to pressurize the lid. So um, I'll come back and we'll, we'll do that. So we'll be back. All right gang, she's all in there. Um, I've been sanitizing the, uh, the lid. There we go. The sanitizing the lid. Um, so it's good to go. I'll put that on. Lock her into place, snap her in, and now we're going to give it a little gas just to set the lid in place. Until I hear it stop. That's good. That'll set it. Um, that's fine. So that's good guys, that's what I got. Um, now the fun part of the cleanup happens with the fermenter and I'm gonna put that keg away for three weeks, room temperature, but 70 degrees Fahrenheit-ish. And then uh, stay tuned with the taste test. I'm optimistic guys, This uh, that smells delicious and, uh, and uh, it, it doesn't taste like any kit beer that I've tried before. So um, really looking forward to trying this one. So talk to you guys soon. Big Rob while he's gone. Make sure you subscribe. It's the end of the videos. Make sure you subscribe get, and hit the bell if you want notifications to get uh, um, the taste test video that's coming. Okay, that's it, guys. Talk to you later, Big Rob. He gone.